Maria, should uh, Confederate statues in Tennessee be removed or stay put? Stay put. Um, uh, let's go to WKRN. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, yes, reporting. Let's see what we got on WKRN. A monument of a private hey, it's, Confederate soldier. It's, uh, it's Bert and... and uh, a monument of a... Pri- Bert and Haley. And your lady. Yeah, what's Bert's name in Mary Poppins? Bert what? It's, it's Bert. It's just Bert. Yeah. Bert the chimney sweeper. Yeah, I don't think they ever say his last name. He does look like Dick Van Dyke, though. <laughs> Doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Like He looks like Dick Van Dyke from uh, the museum movies. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. What was the museum movies? Wasn't that... Um, Not at the museum movies? Yeah, wasn't that the Blue Steel guy? Yeah. Yeah, Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Private Confederate soldier bucked I'll give her Blue trans Steel. and will remain in Centennial Park. The Tennessee Historical Committee rejected Gorgeous. a petition from the Metro Board Sorry. of Parks and Recreation for its removal. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilkes. News 2's Tori Gessner explains why the commission voted to preserve the monument and what those who want it taken down. You know, Wilgus, it's not a good last name. <laughs> Padula. <laughs> Haley Padula. Oh, my goodness. Like, could you imagine? This is Haley Padula. People will be like, what? Wow. That's a great broadcast name. <laughs> this is Haley Wilgus. <laughs> Her You're husband with the weak handshake. Goofy on purpose. No, that's how, that's how it said. I looked it up. I asked Alexa. <laughs> we'll do next. Standing She's tall gonna block in me for that one. Park, sculpted from bronze, a monument of an unknown Confederate soldier at the center of a years long. Stop debate with in this Confederate monument. Stop with this to- debate of erasing history. I know. That's why I think it's. Here's my thing. question: Is why do they want to remove this statue? of a historical Democrat. <laughs> right? I don't get it. Oh, who, who, who wants... Why are they wanting to remove all these statues of Democrats? <laughs> Fair question? That's funny. Right. You know, because that's what the party was. Mm-hmm. Is that why they want to remove it? To say, like, oh, don't, don't remember? We really were like that. Right. Yeah, we got to get rid of these KKK statues. They were all Democrats. Is that the reason? Just asking. I don't know. It's been low-hanging fruit because they're the easiest to demonize in the view of many. The private Confederate monument was erected in 1909 to help bereaved Southerners interpret the meaning and implications of defeat, according to the Metro Arts Commission. In 2019, the monument was vandalized, splat. Why would you want to throw paint all over this young Democrat? <laughs> Who's throwing the paint at these Democrats? I'd like to know what the point of vandalizing them is. Are they Republicans Aren't throwing paint on these Democrats? Actually, bringing more attention to them. If they want to erase them, then just maybe ignore them. Oh, or maybe <laughs> they want. Maybe you're right. Maybe they want to bring attention to these young Democrat statues. Maybe. Right. Let's research this guy. Yeah. Pattered with red paint, the words they were racist. Why are you calling these Democrats racists? <laughs> right. Why are you calling these historical Democrats racist? That's not nice. That's that's rude. The term it's true, but it's not. But it's so much different now. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think oh. it's sprayed on the front. Some believe the country can't move forward until statues like these are removed. No, no, you you don't want to get rid of these old and young learn Democrat statues. From it. Yes. You learn from history. Take them down, and, and then we do can better. have yeah. a serious conversation about how we want to actually. Sir, why do you want to get rid of these why Democrat statues? We, why can't we have the serious conversation with them up? They right. have to come down, then we can talk. Yeah. Like we can't just talk. Memorialize this moment and make sure that we include a lot of the African Americans who died and fought um, in the Civil War. And, and also, include, a, a, you a, know, a, the hundreds of thousands of white people. Okay, the white Republicans that died and fought Mm -hmm. in that war. Yeah. Just let you know, sir. Much more complex history. In March 2022, Metro Parks and Recreation asked the state for a waiver to take the statue down. On Friday, the Tennessee Historical Commission denied their request because of the historical significance of the monument. Yeah, thank God they left this Democrat statue up. (laughs) Thank God. It's not it's not right by law. While some believe this part of history should not be honored, Sons of Confederate Veterans Attorney Edward Phillips... Maybe it was a female soldier. He was a female soldier. You know what I mean? Maybe it was that time. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Maybe it wasn't pain at all. Oh, right. gosh. It says, in order to learn about the Civil War, both sides need to be represented. Yes. These Democrats need to be represented for what they did back then. I absolutely agree with this. 100%. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's all connected. It's brilliant, though, isn't it? <laughs> and without it's a each brilliant one of argument, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. Each one of the Every time I bring that up in these conversations period. with yeah. people, they don't know how to respond. Yeah. We wouldn't be where we are today. They don't know how the to things respond. to be thankful for. The ones that don't agree with Well, them. it changed. When? And each one of those things Whatever. happened. Whatever. Right, yeah. Right. Order- all right, all right. Well, I'll tell you what, before we do get out of here, uh, which, uh, Maria, which famous statues, which famous Tennesseans should have statues erected? Um, I don't know many famous Tennesseans, um, but there are some that are already up, like Wilma Rudolph. Yeah, yeah. That is mm-hmm. up, and she was a famous Tennessean. Do we have a Dolly? Dolly oh, Parton? I don't, I don't think I think so. we should have a Morgan Freeman statue. Morgan, I love Morgan Freeman. Oh, he's the best. Yeah. He, he's from uh, Memphis area. And isn't, is Jimi Hendrix from here? No, he was stationed in, uh, he was stationed at Fort Campbell. Oh, okay. And uh, he, he played, uh, he played some music here in Clarksville. Okay. Before making a big in Nashville. Okay. I saw that. Yeah. That banner for him. So I was curious about that. Uh, what about, I think we should have a Justin Timberlake statue? Is he from Tennessee? Uh huh. Really? Yeah, I think so. Right, Alexa. Where was Justin? Tennessee, but where was Justin Timberlake born? Justin Timberlake was born in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh wow! USA in 1981. Well, then his 1981. He was born five years before me. (laughs) His should be in Memphis because he's from Memphis. Then. Well, there's only one answer. Which famous Tennessean should have a statue erected? Oh, boy. Of? Oh, my gosh. Haley. Ha- Haley Padula. <laughs> Haley Padula. Haley <laughs> Padula. That's funny. Holding, obviously, her uh, niece. Yeah. Hanging out with her brother. Everyone has so many brothers. <laughs> you know what I mean? All these news reporters have all these brothers, and they love their 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 siblings' children. <laughs> All right. Oh, she put on some weight there. I'm glad she lost it. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. Oh, that's funny. All right. Maria, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. That was a good conversation. Yeah, that was fun. That was a good one. Yeah. It's always a good one with you in here. Yeah, we always have fun. Yeah. Yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, the whole bit, the link tree. Art link, Clarksville.com. It's in the video description. Clarksville's Real Conversation, only on the Joe Padula Show Network, weekday mornings at 7 a.m. Absolutely.